What is up, everyone? My name is Andrew. Today is October 28th, 2021. This day, two years ago, I lost one of my best friends due to suicide. Um, her name was Hallie Jackson. She was 16 years old. She played track and field and field hockey at my high school. She was the most loving, caring, kindful person that I ever met. And today I'll be reading you a story that I wrote called 730 Days. In my 730 days with the passing of Hilly Jackson. In 730 days, it's been two years since I heard the news about her passing. And then in the 730 days, the people in her life and in the community that she lived in will never ever be the same without her. Hilly Jackson would always have a smile on her face whenever she would see someone in the hallways. For people who didn't know her, she was the younger sister to Scotty and the elder sister to Matthew. In the 730 days, I never realized how important it, it was to check in with your friends. If I was able to see Haley for a whole day again, I, will, I would give her a big old hug. I would tell her how much I miss her so much. I would tell her, that she, tell her how hard it's been for me missing her every day because I think about you every day. I have remind her at the fun times we had in, in town with playing soccer and you choosing on your team or waiting for our friends so we can hang out in town while we were waiting in Duncan. I would remind her of the fun of the time where we would sing our hearts out at recess and make dances to show our friends. I also would re remind her of the time where we sat together at lunch and we would just talk until we just didn't feel like talking anymore. Um, I would tell her how much she is loved. I would tell her how much she is worth it. I would tell her how much that she was in us. I would tell her everything that's going on with my life, like how I'm going to college. I had to work county community college. I'll tell her how I'm making friends and how are they they doing and what what are they are like. I'll tell her my job. I'll tell her that I teach kids how to ski. Um and I'll just give her a big old hug and then if I was ever to see her again. And if she really a lot Haley and bye hi. Love you, Harold. I guess some of her closest friends. Uh, what is a good memory you have with her? And if she was still alive, what would you say to her? If I could see Haley again, I would tell her that I love her and that she's so loved by so many other people um, and that she just had such a lasting impact in my life. And I'm so grateful to have known her, uh, to have been her friend, her classmate, her teammate. And I just miss her a lot. If I was to see Haley again, there's so much I would want to tell her, um, so much I would want to say to her. But first things foremost, I would tell her that I love her and I would thank her because without her, I wouldn't be here right now running. Um, and I would let her know that she is not. Hi Haley, I love you so much. My favorite memory of us is when we were down the beach. If I could say one thing, it would just be, I miss you so much. And I think about all of our memories often and um, it brings me a lot of comfort to just remember how much fun we had um, and just how you lit up any room and you were such a positive um, light in this world. And I wish that I could text you or call you just when I was having a bad day, but um, I just wanted to say I love you, and I miss you so much, and I wish you all the best. Video. These next two videos are from her friends that were not able to make videos, but were able to write something. This first one is from Ellie Fleming. I hope you can hear... I hope you can hear these words in one way or another. As I type this, my heart aches and my eyes leak at the thought you are not here. I have been to your viewing, your funeral, your burial, and your grave. I have experienced loss in a whole new way. I have brought, I 
have been brought closer to my peers than I ever thought was possible. I felt sorrow for your wonderful family, yet somehow this all doesn't seem real. People die. It's what happens. You deserve to live your life for much longer than you did. But I think it is the fact that you felt you did not that hurts the most. I can speak for everyone that knows you, knows of you, or has even just heard your name when I said, when I say you deserve it. You deserve to turn 17. You deserve to win another state championships for track. You deserve to feel your mother's embrace. You deserve to laugh with your father. You deserve to annoy your little brother. You deserve to be protected by your older brother. You deserve to be here with us. I wish that we could have told you this before you decided to leave forever. Your memory will remain in my thoughts my heart for as long as I live. I am so lucky that I got I get to say that I grew up with you. I got to sell Girl Scout cookies with you. I got to buy matching dresses, friends, chip, bracelet, necklaces with you. I got to play tag with you. I got to bike around town with no care in the world with you. I got to make memories with you. Most, most importantly, I got to see your beautiful smile and hear your joyful laugh a count, countless numbers of times. So thank you. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you again. Another note from one of her friends was Amanda. My favorite memory of Haley was when it was pouring rain at one of the track meets. And we all huddled under two umbrellas, about ten of us, for warmth, and just laughed for the longest time. Her smile was the prettiest. And the last note comes from Lily Scott. My favorite memory with Haley is probably this one day in the summer, going to the 8th grade, when we spent all day swimming in the waterfall in Swarthmore. We laughed so hard the whole day and completely lost track of time. She always knew how to have the most fun. This video was with one of her best friends and with one of the people that Haley loved really well. Here's the side of the video. Hey, I'm Desari and my favorite memory probably with Haley was like, I can't pick one, but my favorite one was when we were jumping on the beds at the hotel rooms when we went to States, because that was a fun night itself. Hi, I'm Lizzie, and my favorite memory with Haley is 10th grade Spanish class um, and presenting our projects in Spanish, and we were so bad. It was so funny. <laughs>